Stampers, it's Kim Vogel with the Basement Fun Stampers and I'm here to, today to share with you a really pretty fun card that I created using the Gilded Autumn Suite. I also paired the suite with these stitched leaves dies and you are going to love these dies. Cannot wait to share them with you and show you them in more detail. I also love the, this designer series paper. This has got like the squash and um, pumpkins on it. And it kind of makes it look like it's been um, color lifted or bleached a little to make the different color variation in the, the pumpkin and the squash. So pretty. So before I get started making that card, I want to share with you a little bit of the products that I used. So I used the beautiful autumn stamp set and this is paired with some of these great little punches um you have two different leaves on, and an acorn and this bundle together is sold for fifty dollars and 25 cents i love it what i really like about it and you're going to see me use it in my video today is that you have the option of being able to stamp the leaves in um, a solid color and then putting the more detailed one on top of it to really make that leaf come to life and that is what i did here on my card today and I'm going to show you um, a little tip on doing that because um, there's a little tip to it that makes it so much easier to use. Then I also used our new stitched leaves dies. Now these dies pair with another stamp set, but I just used the dies for today's card. And I want to take a moment and share them with you because they are heavenly. So these dies have an outer layer or an outer leaf shape and it's stitched. I love the stitched look, but you could also put this inside of that and then your leaf will get the detail of it um, as well. So pretty. So on my card today, let me bring my card back out. Um, I actually used this leaf right here and you can see the detail that it gave me. And then I used the little one that is right here as well. Isn't that gorgeous? The detail to that leaf is just absolutely beautiful. So anyway, that's what I, I chose to use today and paired it together with the actual Gilded Autumn Suite. So let's go ahead and get started using um, uh, making this card today. So I chose to use Crumb Cake as the base of my card. Um, this is cut five and a half by eight and a half and I'm just gonna fold it in half. And then I have um, some layers of, well it helps if I fold it at the right spot, there we go. And then I have some layers of um, cardstock. I have the Early Espresso cut five and a quarter by four. And then I have Whisper White that is cut five by three and three fourths. And then I have a piece of this awesome designer series paper that is cut two and a half by four and three fourths. And that's gonna layer very nicely on the top there. So let's go ahead and get some um, of that glue together first before we go on to the next step. So I'm using our new Stampin' Seal Plus Adhesive. I really like this one. I think it does a really good job holding the cards very nicely. Stampin' Seal Plus is kind of like the Fast Fuse replacement. So if you liked the Fast Fuse, um, you're definitely gonna wanna give the Stampin' Seal Plus a try. Now before I glue anything else on here, I wanna also stamp my sentiment here on the bottom. So I'm just gonna use the thank you. Now this sentiment is from the um, the autumn, the beautiful autumn stamp set. And I'm just gonna stamp that down here on the bottom. You probably should have stamped that on before I even adhered this down, but I didn't wanna to have to worry about getting any of my paper dirty. And then we're gonna adhere the designer series paper to the top. And I'm gonna um, glue this down to where I have a little bit of a border at the very top and all the way around it. And then we're going to use some of the, now I'm gonna change this card up a little bit. So on this one, I chose to use the Mint Macron ribbon that comes with this um, ribbon pack. So the ribbon pack comes together. It's called the Basket Weave and Metallic Ribbon. And I'm gonna actually use the metallic ribbon on this one. So you get both of these bolts of ribbon for $8. So this one, I'm going to use the metallic ribbon around here instead. So I'm just gonna cut a piece big enough to wrap around with some glue dots. And then I'm going to um, put a, tie on a little piece. Now, if you are not following me on Facebook yet, I really encourage you to search for me on um, as Kim Vogel's Basement Bunch Stampers. I provide lots of different inspiration um, for uh, different Facebook Lives that I do on Thursday evenings at 7 p.m. Eastern Standard Time. 
And then I also um, do, this ribbon's a little bit harder to work with. You gotta make sure you get it nice and straight. Um, and then I also um, have different online classes that I offer where you can um, you know, purchase that class online and it ships directly to you. You guys are really seeing me struggle with this ribbon. There we go. Likes to stick to my nails. So I'm just gonna wrap this around with some glue dots and get that glued really, really good. And then I'm gonna cut another little piece of this ribbon and um, adhere it um, on by, or actually I'm gonna tie it on, I should say. Boy, am I struggling with this card today. Um, the other thing I want to make sure you guys are aware of is that I also have a link in the description of this video to join my mailing list. If you're not on my mailing list yet, you'll get emailed my weekly newsletter and also any of my online classes that I offer. I usually have emails that go out for registration links and so on. So make sure that you um, join my mailing list and you won't miss anything. I'm now going to adhere this down to my crumb cake base. just like this. So you can see how that ribbon gives it just a little bit of a different look. I kind of like that different look. So the next thing I want to show you is how to stamp these little leaves. Now these leaves I've done in advance and I'm going to adhere them with some little dimensionals down to my card, but I want to show you how I did them. So let me bring in a scrap of Very Vanilla. So these stamps are um, where you, you stamp twice. So the first one time you stamp, you're going to either stamp the background or the, the um, uh, outline of the image. And I have found that it has been very much easier for me to stamp the outline of the image first and then stamp the solids. Now, normally I would do it the opposite way but I've had a more hard, harder time trying to line them up by doing it that way. So let me show you, I'm going to bring in my Early Espresso ink and I'm just going to stamp down here on the bottom um, one of the outlines here. And then I'll stamp the other one as well. This is the actual maple leaf. And then using the Mint Macron ink, so let me pull that one out of the way and bring in my Mint Macron. I was able to line this up a lot easier. I don't know if you can see here, but I was able to line it up a lot easier because I had that outline to go by. You can see how much nicer that is. Now I'm going to try to show it to you the other way um, without my camera being in the way too much, I hope. Um, but you can see how easy that is to line up. Now if I would have done it the other way, so I'm going to just stamp one of these down, I found it a lot harder um, to be able to line it up with that color down first because this has more detail than that. It gives you the all like the, the veins of the leaf and the actual end of the bottom of it. And I found it to be a little bit harder to line up. So I found it much, much easier to stamp your outline um, first on this in this case and then do your solid on the inside. So just a little tip there that I've that I've um, noticed from making um, this card. So I'm gonna adhere these down with a couple of dimensionals. Now I don't have any of the mini dimensionals here. So this is a little trick that you can do as well. You can cut the ends of the big dimensionals kind of small to be able to secure them down to your card and not have a lot of it um, hang over. And I'm just gonna put that one down there in the bottom. And then I'm gonna put this one over here like that. And then I top this card off by incorporating some leaves. These are the two leaves that I cut out using those beautiful stitched um, leaves that I showcased earlier. And then I layered them with two circles. This is a two and a quarter inch very vanilla circle. This is a two inch early espresso circle. And I'm just gonna layer those two together with a little bit of adhesive. And then I'm going to put some dimensionals on the backs of these leaves and secure, actually I think I just put a couple on this one and then I glued the smaller one. Now this leaf is cut out using the um, Mint Macron and then this one is done using the um, Crumb Cake and this I just secured on with a little bit of adhesive. I didn't um, dimensional that one on at all. And then I did put dimensionals on the back of this to secure it to my card. So I'm just gonna put a couple on there. And then I top the card off by adding a little thing of ribbon to the leaves where they're kind of joined together there. So let me do that as well. And I use this exact same ribbon. 
So I'm just gonna tie a little bow or a little knot here. I'm gonna push it down to the end so I don't waste any of this. And then I'm just gonna take my paper snips and trim off the ends so they're about the same length. And then adhere this to my card with a glue dot right there. And there you have a beautiful card that I created using those awesome fall products in our holiday catalog. And you can see the different look that you get again using the different ribbons. This is using the mint macaron ribbon. This is using the metallic ribbon. And what one's your favorite? I think I like the metallic ribbon the best. So make sure you comment and let me know what your favorite ribbon is out of these two cards that I created. Thanks everyone for joining me today. I hope you've enjoyed my project and I can't wait to share more with you from our um, awesome holiday catalog. Have a great day. Bye.